Hello, I'm Edward Tart, once a Catholic priest for five years in the 1960s, now an atheist, which means I find no credible evidence for the existence of any God. Many Christians and other religious believers say that we atheists are immoral, that we have no basis for morality, that morality comes from their God and from religion. But I say, religion does not provide a good basis for morality. Religion actually is an obstacle to morality, an obstacle to a good sense of right and wrong. Religion gets in the way. In saying that, I am agreeing with former Christian minister, now atheist author and speaker, Dan Barker. He made the point earlier this year, 2012, in his talk at the Global Atheist Convention in Melbourne, Australia. In his talk to those atheists, he described a portion of a debate that he had given before an audience of about 1,500 people in Madison, Wisconsin. Here is Dan Barker. Religion does not enhance your moral judgment. Religion compromises your moral judgment. Religion gets in the way. Religion is an added layer. It's an obstruction. And I said to that audience, I'm going to prove to you that religion is compromising your moral judgment. There were about 1,500 people there, and Madison is a pretty liberal town, and I bet, I bet maybe 30 or 40 percent of that audience were non-believers. But I said, I'm going to tell you two stories, and I want you to raise your hand after each story. The first story is this. And these two stories are morally equivalent. Suppose I were to break into somebody's home, this loving Christian family, mother, father, and children, and pets. They go to church, they pray, they contribute to charity. They're really, really great people. And I tied them up. And I tortured them. And I drowned the cat in the bathtub. And I shoot the dog, and then I set the house on fire and kill all those people. And then the police asked me, Dan, why did you do that? And I would say, no reason. The devil made me do it. Raise your hands if you think I'm a moral monster. Virtually every hand went up, right? Yeah, horrible, moral monster. How would he do? No reason. The devil made me do it. The second story was this. I got out my Bible, and I opened the Bible to the book of Job. And you know what's coming. <laughs> Remember how God tortured Job. He caused the wind to blow the, the building over. The wall crashed against those children and killed his children, killed his livestock and his animals. And it didn't say if he had a cat to drown, but he killed it all. And, and then God tortured Job and, with boils and horrible things that happened. If you want a magic bullet, by the way, that totally destroys Christianity in the Bible, you will find it in one Bible verse. It's the book of Job 2, 3, the second chapter, verse 3. Let me read this to you. The Lord said unto Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a blameless and an upright man that fears God? He turns away from evil, and still he holds fast his perfection. He holds fast his integrity. God said this to Satan, and then he said, although you moved me against him to destroy him without cause. So God, why did you do this to Job? No reason. The devil made me do it. So then I asked that audience, okay, raise your hands if you think the God of the Bible is a moral monster. Can you guess what happened? Less than half of the hands went up in that audience. Isn't that proof that religion compromises our moral judgment? We are loyal to the slave master. We are loyal to the Lord. We don't want to threaten. We don't want to say anything bad about the Father. We submit. We become these humble servants of the Lord, and we'll let him figure all these things out. So that is how my fellow ex-Christian minister and present atheist, Dan Barker, demonstrates that religion is an obstacle to morality.
If you would like to hear that entire talk by Dan Barker, you can follow the link below. To all of you, thank you for watching this video.